everybody, we're getting interrupted here by a juror. Juror number two. Mr. McGill, it's a pillar of society and a gentleman. A gentleman's word should be sacrosanct. Which means very, very holy, I think. But I need to accept the hard truth. Let's get rid of him. He's trashy. Oh, jeez. That makes three votes against him. I don't want to cause offense, but I do like to get rid of filth and grime. I've typed every single word someone said here. I've referenced all the facts. Now I can reach a logical conclusion. Guilty! Wow, okay, apparently I'm doing a terrible job of defending this guy. We've got, like, all the jurors minus one. Okay, two jury members. Two jury members have not voted yet. Every time I press for more information, I just make the situation worse. Well, but we still need a lot of information because we don't know anything. Uh, can't give up. Just need to keep calm, listen to her statements again. Well, you know, we did get a piece of evidence added to uh, the court record. So, you know, maybe, maybe this will be useful. Maybe that's a W. I mean, could be a W. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. A W. It's a turnabout case, huh? 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 Oh, okay, it's the letter M. Well, so much for me being clever and thinking up cool ideas. Can I take the blade out of its case? Hmm. I just don't really like blades, even though I'm carrying one right now. Dull. Nah, gross. It looks a lot like blood. Okay, so we've examined that. That doesn't really give us much in the way of the, uh, like, evidence. I guess it kind of matches that. Could be that I missed something on the omnibus. Okay, so this must be where the writer sits, right? Writer, writer sits here all day long. Oh, whoa, I forgot to press that last statement of testimony, it looks like. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. We did not press the last statement of testimony. I've tested, I, I pressed every piece of testimony except that last statement. So let's press that last statement. Last statement, going back to Beppo. Beppo here, Beppo. Please give me something to work with, buddy. Okay, so you turned around and looked. We saw the victim on the ground. The other one had the knife in his hand like this. And he plunged it down, stabbing the other passenger. Now hold on a second. Stabbing the other passenger? Hmm, why would he stab someone who was already dead? Oh no, juror number five wants, uh, guilty?
No, no, no. Ah! Beppo's a great person. I trust what he says. I think he's a little too kind, sir. Five people are agreeing. Oh man. Granny is uh, the only one on our side. Granny, you've heard the testimonies. Then please, why have you not uh, made a decision yet? Well, dear, the thing is, I'm a creature of habits. I go to the park around this time of day and I sit on a nice bench and get on with my knitting. Well, it's just a lovely little park where I live, the Gilded Park. You donated it to the city. It's such a nice park and I love doing my knitting. All right, the audience is uh, finally getting on my side. What? Why do you hate my defendants? Where did his wealth come from? Oh, man! Oh, he's guilty of usury. He charges interest on loans. Specifically so he can force people to debt forever. Do you have any proof of this Van Zeke? Sorry, you just making it up. That is a good question. Why doesn't he have his own carriage? Why would he use the public bus? So Magnus was trying to steal all the money from the poor victim. When the victim couldn't pay up, he murdered him. the first time Suzato's spoken up to uh, the judge and jury. Whoa, what? Is he just drinking wine in the middle of court? Dude, let's stay sober. Everybody likes his, uh, everybody loves his, uh, wine drinking. Okay. Okay, we have a ledger. Okay, this is also a new piece of evidence. That's good. Does this guy not ever use his left arm? Is his left arm just completely covered by his cape? So he just does everything in this weird right-armed way? I don't know, so Man Manzik's arm is just it's confusing me. Twenty guineas. That's a lot of money. A 
Uh oh. Granny's mad. Oh no. Oh no. She can't vote guilty. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Let's think about it a little bit more. Oh, oh gosh. Can I at least look at this evidence before doing something? Can I open it? This portfolio must contain all sorts of secrets. Oh, do you think we should look at it? Well, I mean, it's not like we know anybody here. I mean, except maybe Mr. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Gosh, I wonder if he's in here. I was probably rich enough not to owe money to uh, any lenders, right? I don't know, maybe Sherlock wasted a bunch of money on one of his cases. That sounds like something he would do. You know, it, it costs a ton of money, but he really wanted to solve the case. Not everybody in London is rich. Bruce Fairplay. Huh, isn't that the uh, witness? Now why is a banker? Whoa, banker owes a pretty considerable debt. For the exact same amount the victim owed? Hmm. Yes, yes, here we go. Okay, we've got this information. That, that could be important. I think we might need to present this as evidence. Oh, geez. Okay, so all six people voted guilty. Isn't that it? Doesn't that mean it's the end of the trial? Help me out here, Suzato. Is that the end of the trial? Okay, so according to this uh, British Encyclopedia, once everybody in the jury says he's guilty... Uh, we put the trial on pause, and the judge gives a verdict. That's what it says. Wow, final verdict. Over so soon. Uh, footnote. Footnote! However, the defense... Well, well, hold on a second. I want to read this footnote. There's a footnote about the defense here. Hey, the prosecutor also has a sword. I see. I have an objection. Just tell me the footnote. Okay, yes. However, the defense... All members of the jury concluded the defendant's guilty, blah, blah, blah. Just skip to the, the, the defense! Ah! Come on. The defense has the right to demand a summation examination of the jurors. What on earth is that? Objection! A summation examination? Wow, what book are you reading? Is it super old? Must be. Huh, must be over 50 years old. Look, modern British people don't do that anymore. Really long forgotten, no longer used. So yeah, out of luck. That's one of the interesting things. Like, uh, we, we talk about the 1890s. It's a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's like 130 years ago. But even back then, they, they thought some things were super old-fashioned. <laughs> you know? We think a lot of these 1890s stuff, uh, things are old-fashioned, but they've got things that <laughs> they themselves thought were super old-fashioned. Maybe they were just looking down at stuff from, like, the 1760s. So that would have been, like, the American Revolution. So, I mean, that's, that's about the same time gap. You know, American Revolution to when this game takes place. This game to, uh, modern day.
Oh, wow, we can appeal. We can appeal to them to change. If successful, the trial has to continue. So we just need to convince one person. Barristers would use the summation examination. More of a formality with no practical benefit, so we stopped doing it. I wonder why. Because it had no purpose. You change the mind of one member of the jury? Pfft, that's hard enough. Changing everyone's mind? Come on. No one would even try. Still, there's nothing about it being formally revoked. Just because it fell out of use doesn't mean it's not still an option. I think we're going to go for it. And you know, if I'm just really terrible at doing summation examinations, who cares? Nobody else has seen a summation examination in, in, in decades. I'm like basically guaranteed to be the best summation examiner, you know, in, in this in this uh, past five year span, right? By virtue of being the only one. Whatever, sir. I object. If it's our right, it's our right. Let's do it. Besides, this is already a weird enough trial with, with foreign lawyers. One of whom is not a lawyer, uh, um, I should add. So it is kind of unusual. Let's do everything by the books, shall we? Okay, so the jury has to explain what they think? Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, this is awesome! I, I don't think we've, we've seen this before. Oh, man! Yeah, no, this is new and different to me. This seems cool. And now the jurors are kind of... Uh-oh. They're back to the corner because they have to explain why they think a man should be killed. Okay, defense procedure that nobody's practiced for years, huh? Just maybe. This might be the opportunity we've been looking for to turn the trail round! Woo! So be it then, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. You need to testify! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Whoa. Angry Judge Santa Claus demands it. Judicial findings. Nice. This does look like testimony. Like, just how witness testimony normally goes. Okay, so he thinks he's guilty because there's nobody else there. She trusts the past, um, the witness. I hope one of them makes a statement about, uh, the banker, because if there's a statement about the banker, we might be even... We, we might be able to present the, the banker's name there. Uh, but that guy didn't mention the banker, he mentioned the driver. Okay, so, um, this doesn't look very helpful. They don't have wonderful arguments, but they have some pretty good arguments. Uh, I guess we can present, I mean, press their testimony? Try to be persuasive? I, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, that's not how it works. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to press them or give a big speech or something. Yeah, but they're not really going to listen to you. They've already made their conclusions by their own reasoning. You'll just sound like an excuse person. Now, this could backfire if you try to persuade them. And what am I supposed to do? Just, just reading the book, okay? Don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. Do you know what I should do? 
Yeah, okay, look here. Let me check my book again. Okay, the key is using the juror's own words to make your argument. Use their own words against them. So they are randomly selected people. Yeah. Truth is, they're total strangers. So maybe that could help us. Okay. Seems interesting. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but it sounds like it's going to be fun. Figuring out contradictions. Yeah, we can pit the jurors. Oh, yeah! Get the jurors fighting with each other! That'd be cool. 